Holy crap, you guys, this is Bobo the Vulture, and uh, this is, let's, it seems like maybe even really play Fallout 3. Uh, I did some more poking around on the internet, trying to find out stuff about how to make this game work. Um, what's nice is uh, Bethesda does have uh, a thread about things that you can do to help make this game work. Uh, stopping short of releasing any variety of, you know, patch or update to the game or anything. Um, but they do have something on the message boards to sort of help you out a little bit. Um, so, again, I guess I can't even be positive that this will actually go. But, let's try it anyway. Let's continue. Sorry. I uh, tabbed out for a second after this happened because I was so excited. I'm special. This is for strength, and that means I'm strong. I can carry more toys and swing stuff all day long. Uh, it's, it's an odd little body there. B is for perception, a long, funny word. It means that I tasted, smelled, saw, and heard. Okay. E is for endurance, and that's how long I can play. I'm always really healthy and have energy all day. Good. C is for charisma. That's why people think I'm great. I make my friends all laugh and smile and never want to hate. Why people always be hating anyways? That's what I've never understood. I is for intelligence. It means I'm really smart. I use my brain for lots of stuff like science, math, and art. I do like the uh, little... This is this is a nice way to sort of set up the uh, the special abilities in this game, um, but uh, yeah, okay, so that's good. A is for agility. It's how I get around. I move real fast and easy, and I never make a sound. Valuable. L is for luck, and it's simple. You see, it means that good things always happen to me. All done. Let's review. Uh, let's review and let's. Let's bump up that agility there. Um, let's take down the luck some and add that to agility as well. And uh, take down the charisma some. I mean, I'm a shining hot, red hot light of charisma, but uh, I know that it's. I've, I've, I'm under the impression it's actually not really worth that much in this game. And I'm not necessarily trying to min-max this. I did set the difficulty for very hard, which is the closest thing to, like, hardcore mode this game has. It should mean, though, that I actually level faster, because uh, enemies will give more experience. Um, all that said, though, I don't really have... Uh, I, I don't... Rem like, the, the game, you can save and load and do all that stuff, so... I don't necessarily know that it's going to be a... Uh, I, I don't know how hard the game is going to be, I guess is what I'm getting around to saying. Um, anyhow, let's see. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, do I want to put that into... You know, I'll keep it in Charisma. Keep it in charisma. Why not? I don't need to necessarily be the super best guy all ever, forever, and again. And also in uh, this particular run to get back to this part, I uh, used I used the Z button to grab a race car because that's what Bobo would do. Oh, Daddy! <laughs> you are. Quite the little explorer, aren't you? I know. I'm like Howlin' Mad Murdock. Trying to pen you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21:6. I am Alpha and Omega. Oh yeah, I looked at that in the first. In the end. In the first one. Give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He always loved that. All right, come a on. Thirst. That's Let's what go the see is. if your little friend Amada wants to play. Yay, Amada! I have a little friend. That's cool. Wait, I want to see. Can I uh, scrounge for anything in here? No, I can't. Yeah. 
die! Ah, the lights. Hey, cool! Whoa! Turn the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Can you believe? Hey, you got a beard just like me. Growing up so fast. I know. Can't move around. Happy birthday, pal! Yeah, man. I can't believe you're already ten. Hard work is happy work. So proud of you. If only your mother. You taking your medication today? Oh, hey! I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? I kind of do. Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well. Are you all ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities? Yes. So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip Boy 3000. Oh man! So get used to it. But you will be it getting just your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. Welcome to my home oh, party. Man, you got a Happy birthday! Oh. We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. Oh, Amada. You didn't fool me. I pretended not to know. Is this it? Or hasn't the real party started yet? Come on. Who's doing all this stuff? Oh, by the way. Lost one copy of Dean's Electronics. If found, please return to Stanley. Stanley? Uh, one day is bingo night in the diner. Thirteen. Uh, first prize, a week supply of water rations. Nice! I could shower. Um, I'm going to be nice. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. Your frozen dad over here. decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess. Ooh, did you get me oh, a date with Christy Kendall? Uh, aw, oh, just give me the present already. I have no... Oh. I'm sorry, I don't know what my personality is at this point. I have no ha, idea. I knew I surprised you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak. Issue 14. And with no missing pages. Oh, nice. in a box of my father's old things. Believe it or not, imagine him reading comic books. I guess everybody was ten once. A comic well, book? That'll... I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? <laughs> Happy birthday. Amada, you got me a permanent stat increase. You shouldn't have. Wait, wait, Paul, come back here. Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. Oh, no, man. I know that, uh, Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. Enjoying what, yourself? Are you two best friends now? Hey, Wally, I think Paul's gone soft on us. Yeah, Paul. Why don't you introduce us to your new best friend? Who oh. do you mean, dork face here? Happy birthday, dork face. <laughs> oh, man. They're all being mean. Happy birthday! Hey, thanks, Officer Gomez. Happy birthday, Sonny. Oh, thank you. Happy birthday, Sonny. Hey, I can bring up my pit boy. Look at it! It's got all of my stats. I can see. I have no status effects. I have no rads right now. My skills. Hmm, so I've started with 20 to energy weapons, explosive, lockpicks, and medicine. I have a little bit of deficit to uh, big guns, melee weapons, and small guns. Don't have the best speech score, but we can fix those things if we want, right? Right. I don't have any perks yet. And I am a vault dweller. I've completed the quest of being born, I think. Uh, miscellaneous. Ooh, Grognacht of Barbarian. Tell me about it. Melee weapons increased by one. I was sort of just hoping to find out about it, but okay. Wait, nope, nope, nope. Let's tab out. There we go. Still getting used to the uh, controls. If anyone wants tarot card reading, you know where to find me, Beatrice. Out of the Vault 101, uh, Annual Vault 101 Bake Off, Bunt Cakes Only. Okay. Sign up now for Saturday's baseball game in the atrium. We still need a shortstop to even out the teams. Okay. So that's all fun. Enjoying yourself? Yeah, I'm enjoying myself. A nice time. Thank you. Procreation is your civic duty. Thank you, Overseer, for making us procreate. Safety first. 
Vault 101 Security, here to help. Achieve perfection, like Mr. Perfect. Exercise regularly, like Mr. Perfect. Cleanliness is godliness, like Mr. Perfect. America lives on in Mr. Perfect. Seek the sunshine of Mr. Perfect's friendship. We're all in this together, the Hennig family. Hard work is happy work. Hard work, Bobby Walker. Have you taken your medication today? <laughs> Apparently not. The outside world can never hurt you. This will be a boring game. Alright, so. That was fun. Are you having a nice time? I am having a nice time. Yeah, hey, old lady. Happy birthday, nosebleed. <laughs> They're being mean to me, Amada. Hey, old lady Palmer. Are you having a nice party? Yeah. Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. Ken. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Are you making sexual humors? Uh, yes, ma'am. I hope you didn't... I hope you, you didn't have to bring me a present, Miss Palmer. Fiddlesticks. What ten-year-old doesn't like presents? I'd say I didn't was like them. once, believe it or not. My goodness, the vault was practically crowded back then. Not hmm. like today. So few young people now. But here I am, rambling on again, and you listening so politely. It's true. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. No sharing required today. Sweet roll! Oh, oh Lady Palmer, you're the best. Go ahead, you can eat the sweet roll now. Andy, it's your wait. birthday. Happy birthday! Uh, thanks for just trying oh, that no. cake. I am mortified about the cake mishap. Simply mortified. What do you have to say, Overseer? I hope you appreciate the effort Amara put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. Um, she did a great job. Apparently, I can't be, like... I, I can't be, um... just sort of generally nice and pleasant. I have to either make a snide comment about him... Or be a dick about how great I am. Um, I think I'm greater than he's terrible. Don't presume too much on her friendship, young man. I'm still the overseer, and I'm still in charge of this vault and everyone in it. Oh, I get that. Are you happy? I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. It's true, Butch. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. Uh, Miss Palmer said I didn't have to share since it's my birthday. How about we share it? You can have it. I don't even like sweet rolls. Sure, Butch. Spit in the sweet roll. <laughs> Go soak your head, Butch. I'm not giving you my sweet roll. You do look hungry. No, what? <laughs> what ten-year-old is getting into, like, boozing humor? Also, <laughs> Lady Palmer staring vacantly at me as we try and figure out this decision. Um, she said I didn't have to share. This is Palmer said I didn't have to share. Who's talking about sharing, moron? I want the whole thing. Now are you gonna give me that sweet roll, or am I gonna have to give you a knuckle sandwich? Uh, no. Go suck your head, Butch. I'm not giving you my sweet roll. Apparently sharing is no longer an option. Oh yeah? We'll see about that. Having a nice You're time. Be sorry. Daddy, I told you not to act all official. I know you were joking, but I'm not sure. Boy, what do you think you're doing? Leave him alone. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice pit boy. Speech. You all right, son? What is son? that? Besides, that's three thousand A models. Life is not okay. a piece of junk. I think you have Get to wind it up for us. Ugh, this is supposed to be a party, you know? Fun? So, what do you think we should, should call try it again? Time, Daddy. It's gotta be totally kill like it. This party's pretty good, I guess, for a little kid. Balloons, party hats. Yeah, that's Not as cool. cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. <gasps> what? Too bad, man. It was really fun. Wally, I thought we were friends. What's Butch's problem, anyway? I can't believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk. Uh, jerk tried to steal my sweet roll. It was kind of my fault. Your dad's the overseer. Can't you just talk to him about Bush? Nah, I'll just say the Bush. I mean, clearly Bush is a jerk, so. God, he really is a butthead. Oh well, 
He can always count on Butch to make an ass of himself. Get it? <laughs> I'm I'm like bolt kind of a joke. Yeah. To go around all day being called Do you think we surprised him? Sometimes I think you I'm really sure are as dumb as you look. Hey, I'm gonna steal some body hats. Woo! Enjoy yourself. Allow me to wish yeah. you a happy I got one. coming soon. The Mackers. I know you are super cool, right? Jeez, well, everything's fine. I gang. You are me. No oh, way. Oh, sure. Nothing to worry about. Me and Andy got her all fixed up again last night. Good as new. I wasn't worried. You can fix anything, right? Anyway, I'm glad you could make it. Nice right. party. It's doing the rounds. How do you like that Pip Boy, son? Fit all right and everything? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Did you fix it up for me? I hate it. How do I get it off? Well, I said my Pip Boy was a piece of junk. As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. So there you go. Thanks, Stanley. Sure, what did you bring me to think for my birthday? Oh, really interesting. Man. Don't mention it. Okay. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. What did I get? I got a baseball cap! How are you enjoying the party, Mrs. Pop? Oh, yeah, I should, uh. get my items, my apparel. I should probably be wearing a party hat. Because it's my party! Palmer, I help with the decorations, you know. Oh, yeah, what does it do? That's in good condition. Oh, this baseball cap will improve my melee weapon score. I'm gonna have to remember that for non-party situations. You guys like that? How's it going, Daddy? I mean, I really like Hello, that one. Are you all right? Is Butch giving you a hard time again? Haha. -ha. I don't know what his deal is. You know, he's always out. He's never get to see him. He's always off with, you know, Murdoch and B.A. and fighting for the freedom of Ireland and let's see don't worry try to take sweep well actually I was the one to start it I had a butch I'm glad to hear it once you start letting bullies push you around you'll never see the end of it there you go come on now I bet there's someone else out there with a present for you Gomez I'm shut up and let me think a minute I'm glad to be here what? I think it's important to keep in touch with the young people you know as part of my job there you I go. hope which didn't hurt you you want to tell me what that was all about uh, it's just nothing. He tried to take my birthday present. Why, that little... I figured it was him that started it. He's been nothing but trouble since the day he was born. All Let he wanted... Try to stay out of the way. Was rock and roll poor. Having hey, fun? Doc. We're all set down here. Thanks. I'll send him right down. Hey, what's going on hey, here? Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Oh, you guys Jonas made is me. waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. You guys are cooking me up a surprise that's in the reactor? Oh, man. You guys made me a nuclear bomb. All right, Butch. Hey, awesome. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness. I hope I didn't miss the party. Hey, Beatrice. Yeah, they threw me a great party, didn't they? They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. And now look at you. A great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem. Poetry! Just for you. I hope you like Yay. it. Yay! Oh, you gotta be I will treasure it always. Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. Beatrice is nice. Can it? I've had it with you, Butch. Your mother is going to. You okay, overseer? Well, on his way to becoming a I'm not going to tolerate any more of your bullying. I hope you're having a nice time. Tell my mom. Oh my goodness! Well, no, I wouldn't have missed this world. Okay, they're all in there having party and stuff. That door is locked and it's very hard. They pretty much just want me to go to the reactor, obviously. But I'm gonna hang out. Another youth, well on his way to becoming a productive vault. Enjoy the party, sir. That's true. Bah! I only showed up because Amata's tamper with that. We're gonna have a problem. Okay. Sounds like everybody's having a good time in there. 
Sounds like everybody's having a good time in there. Give them a few more minutes, and then I want that place cleaned up and everybody back to work. Sure hmm. thing, sir. Oh, he faded through the door. It didn't open so I could run past him. Sounds like everybody's having a good time in there. No, no, no. Yeah, so they made me a my own atomic bomb. Which is great, even though, honestly, with my intelligence score, I should have made an atomic bomb at age 8. Oh, man. That's the filter room. Can't go in there. What are you doing down here, young man? Oh, ho, ho. I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. <sighs> I'm not a kid. I'm 10 years old. Dad told me it was okay to come down here. Hey, relax. I was just teasing. Jonas. Listen, now that you're 10, you don't have to take guff like that from grown-ups anymore. Got it? <laughs> sure thing, Hold Jonas. On. I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Whoa. It's a surprise from dad. Is it a lightsaber? Are you ready for your surprise? Do I have the midichlorians for it? What kind of surprise? The overseer gave you your pit boy, and you're old enough to do some work. So, I figure you're old enough for this. Creepy. Your own BB gun. Oh! It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. All right. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. Took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. Nice. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch must place that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, oh what do gosh. you think? Want to give it a try? Yeah, we can't shoot a gun here. We sure can't, unless we want the overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. All right. This is getting great. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Is it over here? Is it in the reactor? That's inaccessible. I guess not. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot anytime you want. Yeah? This is so great, thanks. Couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. Alright. Go ahead. Try out your new gun on those targets over there. Fire your weapon, push mouse one. Ah, and I can zoom in doing that. Oh, Ah, now I can do it. You can do this. Oh yeah. Ooh. Yeah, who's a baller? I should put this away. How do I put it away? That's crouch. Is it the alt key? No. How do I put away this dang gun? I've forgotten my buttons. I'll talk to Dad some. Having trouble with that rad roach? What's a rad roach? Nasty little things. They pretty much keep to dark places, though. That's why there are always lights on in the vault. Mm. I can do it. I know you can, and that's good. I'm not always going to be here to take care of you. Ominous. You have to learn to fend for yourself. Yeah? Now, take your time, breathe slowly, sight down the barrel, and squeeze the trigger. Hey, Jonas. Happy birthday, buddy. I hope you have fun with it. That's a lot, Jonas. This is really cool. Hey, you don't turn ten every day. Now go on and let me see you shoot something. Okay, buddy. Let's go into that. Oh. There's a rad roach over there. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the vault Tech Assisted Targeting System, or VATS. VATS displays the chance you will hit along with the condition of each body part. Uh, mouse 1, attack with your target. Okay, E, accept your actions. Left click, left to right arrows to switch to a new target. That's pretty good. Number of attacks you can make is limited by your AP. 
So yes. There you go. Seems pretty likely that I would hit the legs. Less likely that I would hit the head or the right legs. Let's accept. Headshot. Oh, that did it. Headshot. Good work. That's one less round roads to deal with. Yeah. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. All right. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Smile. Oh no, another flash of light. I should have known there was going to be a fast forward. Sixteen. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy sixteen-year-old boy. So what? yes, you have to go to class to take your goat exam. Go on now. You've got a goat to take. Um. Anything I need to know about the goat? A generalized occupational aptitude test. Goat. Everyone here in the vault takes it when they're sixteen. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, pay attention and try not to fall asleep. Oh. You know what the overseer says? We are born in the vault, we die in the vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities that they may work for the betterment of all vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? Um, I mean, yes, but, uh... Is it true, Dad? Was everyone born in the vault? Do we have to die in the vault? Can't we ever leave? That's not the way it works. And it won't do to go around asking questions like that. Especially not around the Overseer. I want to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. Mm. This place, this vault... They're going to take... It's oh. not perfect, I know. But it is your home. You're safe here. Stay on the Overseer's good side, and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have. Because what's up there, on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. She wanted to have a heart attack. I mean, because clearly that's why people have heart attacks. Is it true, Dad? Was everyone born that's here? That's what the overseer says, isn't it? He's not about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. Hmm. You're here now. And it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe. And you're safe. Hey, you have perfect limb health, Dad. I can see on your Pip-Boy. <laughs> if you say hey, so, Dad. it's not my call. Those are the rules. What? You're 16 now. So this year, you take the goat. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. All right. Can we talk about, you know, mom? Apparently I'm willing to do everything to get out of taking this test. I did not realize what a big deal the goat is. But let's try. Your mother, she... She was beautiful. But beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. Hmm. And she was passionate. About life. About love. But most of all... Most of all, she was passionate about you. When she became pregnant, it was the happiest I had ever seen her. Ah, she had great things in mind for you. And so, time for you to stop stalling and get to class. Please, son, please, take these achievement tests seriously. The last thing I need is your mother's ghost haunting me because her only child became a, a garbage burner. A nerf herder. Hey, it's auto said. Quest added, future imperfect. All right, bye, Dad. I got out of here, and good luck. Go to class and talk to Mr. Broch about the goat. Maybe I'll do that next time. I know it's an exciting cliffhanger, but uh, so far the game is working stably, and I'm kind of excited about that. Granted, we haven't done too much. We've used vats. We've used the Pip Boy. Um, things that we hadn't necessarily gotten around to in the first video. We managed to load up special. Um, so, there's those things. I'm not 
denying any of that. That's not bad. Um, so, fingers crossed, but uh, thus far things seem to be working. Uh, I did know people mentioning mm, mods might be uh, ways that you can change and fix the game and stuff. Um, Honestly, the game is big and wide and varied enough for me, even without mods, that if it will run stably without them, I may just go that route. Um, although there apparently are some mods that uh, are supposed to be designed pretty much just to sort of fix stability issues, and if I have any more of them, um, even having gone to the extent that Bethesda will... Uh, will do for this game in terms of help and support, uh, maybe I will go that route. Um, but yeah, on the uh, message boards there, they were saying before you start trying to mess with mods or anything else like that, it's probably good to see that you've got a baseline of the game working, and you'll probably want to leave the vault before that happens, before you start changing anything, because uh, I guess the vault is a fairly contained and they consider it more bug-free environment. I don't know. Even though there's rad roaches, I guess they keep the lights on, so there's no bugs. <laughs> Anyways, folks, this is Boba the Vulture. This is uh, Let's Play Fallout 3. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I will see all of you next time. Bye-bye now.